Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Zebron. This is the fourth episode of our lessons. Today, I have an interesting topic for you, which is how to track your girlfriend. Wait, 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 I'm just kidding, right? Today, we are going to learn types of chipsets. Okay, so some of you may ask, what is chipset and how can we know the types of chipset? So let's say, let me put your mind on something before I dive into the conversation, right? So picture computer because everybody knows computer. So we all know memory processor. So picture computer processor. When we come to mobile phone devices, it is called chipset. It is not processor. We call it chipset. So we have different types of chipsets. The same way if you go to computer world, we have Intel, we have AMD, we have Apple Silicon, you know, those kind of processes. If we come to devices, gadgets, mobile phones, we call it chipset. So we have different types of chipsets. So I'm going to dive into the type of chipset and I will explain step by step how they look like, how you can identify them, their full name, their short name. We are going to learn all of them today. So guys, without further ado, let's dive into types of chipset, right? Okay, so let me go to my computer and this chipset you see on your screen, it is called Spectrum. The short name for it is SPD, or you can call it SPRD. So the full name of the chipset is called Spectrum. So Spectrum, you can normally find Spectrum in phones like Itel, Nokia, the Nokia keypad phones, even though Samsung and other brands use it, but Spectrum is not a powerful chipset. So we don't use it in those powerful high-end devices or mobile phones. You can normally find it in Itel, um, keypad phones, even Samsung use it other brands also use it, but not as wide as uh, Itel mobile phones use it because Itel is known as not powerful phone or maybe that secure phone like that. Even Techno, Infinix, them all use the Spectrum chipset. But if you are buying any device or any mobile phone that runs on Spectrum, don't really consider the device to be a powerful, that powerful, powerful device. Even though you can convince yourself it's powerful, but to me, that's what I know, right? So that is Spectrum you see on your screen. So the next one I'll also dive into, it's called MTK on your screen, right? So this is called MediaTek. That is the full name for this chipset, right? It is called MediaTek. But the short name for this chipset is called MTK. If you go to computer world, we have AMD, we have Intel, we have Apple Silicon. So if you come to mobile phone world, we have a uh, Spectrum, we have MTK, and we'll move to the another one, right? So MTK is known to be a powerful chipset than Spectrum. So if you are buying any device that uses MTK chipset, consider it to be, you know, middle range mobile phone because it can be secure depending on the kind of mobile phone it's in. However, it's not that really secure like that because there are so many methods and strategy to remove or reset or do whatever you want to this particular two chipset I just shown you. But MTK, is quite powerful than a spectrum. You can as well find MTK chipset in keypad phones, you know, Itel, Infinix, Lenovo, Vivo, Samsung, all the brands you will find MTK chipsets in their devices, right? So let's move to another one, which is also very powerful chipset, which is, I mean, that, that chipset will bust your mind, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So let's check that one. It is called Qualcomm Snapdragon. So this Qualcomm Snapdragon you see on your screen, if you are working on it and you don't have advanced knowledge or if you don't know how to go about chipsets and all that stuff, it will be very difficult for you because this chipset is designed to be secure and powerful. 
even an old device that you find Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset in it, that particular device was once a powerful device, right? It was performing back in the days because if you go back to Samsung World, you see this um, Galaxy 6 Edge, 7 Edge, all these Edge Edge phones that are coming, you know, those powerful, popular phones that we used to know back in the days, they are all running on Qualcomm Snapdragon. And today, maybe you are holding Samsung Ultra X25, S30, whatever Samsung powerful device that you are holding is running on Qualcomm Snapdragon. So Qualcomm Snapdragon is a crazy chipset which is very powerful and secure. And it's also uh, one of the chipset if you find in any device that you are trying to work on, it will stress you because it won't give up that easily if you don't have the right tools to tackle it. The short name for this Qualcomm Snapdragon, you can call it EDL because I know you have heard of EDL cable, EDL cable, EDL cable. Everybody's mentioning, if you go to my page, I've posted EDL cable several times. And some people will ask, what is EDL cable? EDL cable is a cable which can trigger a COM port of this particular chipset. So the EDL, if you mention EDL, we are referring to this Qualcomm Snapdragon. So it simply means that we will get there, but I just want to give you a heads up that, that um, sometimes you have to open the phone and do a test point. But if you have the EDL cable, it sometimes can trigger the COM port for, of this particular chipset. So you don't have to go through uh, the struggle of opening the phone and doing test point on whatsoever, right? So that is how we have EDL. So you can refer to it as EDL or Qualcomm Snapdragon. So let's move to the other one, right? So the one you see on your screen is called High Silicon. High Silicon is a Huawei chipset. So High Silicon, you can also refer to it as USB 1.0 because that is how it identifies itself. So if you ever do a test point of this particular chipset, it's going to show at your driver's manager USB 1.0. So USB 1.0 refers to high silicon. So if you are working on any device and you don't know if maybe you didn't do your research and you, one way or the other, you find a way to do a test point or you connect USB cable and something trigger at your COM port USB 1.0, just remember that it is high silicon device, right? So high silicon is a Huawei powerful chipset. So any device that you find high silicon in is coming from a Huawei factory, right? So high silicon is also a very powerful chipset. As you all know, Huawei devices are not, you know, uh, low end devices. They are all you know, performing very well and Huawei devices are known to be a good device. So it's not easy to find um, a high silicon mobile phone which is not performing well. You know, all of them, even if, even if it is old phone, still it performs very well. So the last one I think I'll show you here is called Exynos. So Exynos is also a Samsung powerful chipset which you can find it in all their mobile phone because this is a secure chipset and the short name for this particular chipset is called EUB because that is how it identifies itself. If you ever do a test point on Samsung phones like A25, you won't see any COM port, but you will see the driver's manager will keep refreshing. The only software which can identify that as Xenos is Chimera 2. And Chimera 2 is powerful and it's known for all Samsung phones. And if you ever want to work on a Xenos chipset, consider yourself getting Chimera. There's one called Cheetah, but I recommend you Chimera because Chimera is what I've been using since and it works like magic. So Chimera is easy to identify Exynos chipset, which is EUB, and it is very easy. You can also use to unlock or flash that particular phone because there are some security part of this particular chipset, which is called Nox and all that. If you don't have Chimera, Chimera can unlock those NOX, KG, and all this stuff from the EUB. So if you are not able to boot the EUB, you don't get the direct access to that particular chipset. So you'll be beating around the bush 
all the time so it is very good to know the type of chipset you are using or the type of chipset in that particular device you are holding guys today we learn about chipset and why do we learn about chipset today i'm going to dive into some few information before i come to an end of this video let's say for instance a client walk into your shop and he or she hand you over a device so as a technician let's say you're a beginner you don't know anything about this unlocking flashing thing and that, let's say that phone happens to be samsung a25 or something like that maybe there's an frp on the phone right you manage to reset the phone the phone is on activation screen you go to emergency dial star hash zero star hash just to use the emergency to i mean use unlock to or whatsoever right it will not work because exynos is powerful sometimes uh, you know if you don't know what you're doing it becomes so complicated if you know the type of chipset in that particular device you are holding it is very easy to make a choice of two or also know what to do at that point in time because let's say for instance as i'm sitting here you just walk in and hand me over let's say samsung um a04e i know what tool to use if you hand me over any techno i know what tool to use it's not like i'm just going to be wasting time researching i know the type of chipset in that particular device so i don't have to beat around the bush and if you hand me over a, a device like a05 a06 those devices will maybe if um maybe the device has mdm or kg lock which you cannot reset it i know what is going on in that particular device so i know what tool to use what strategy to use not in order not to waste time or beating around the bush so if you don't know different types of chipset it becomes very hard to choose what to because uh we have so many tools which we will learn later different types of tools i'll make a video of different types of tools one thing i want you to know is that every tool company tackles on a specific security in as much you have all the options to do all the easier ones they have their target so you can get a tool like mdm remove or mdm fix tool the name sounds mdm so their goal is to remove mdm however they have options you can use to flash reset and all that but in as much the name of the tool is called mdm fix tool you know where they are tackling right so if you take a tools like um sigma octopus they are also have their target some of them target frp flashing mdm resetting flashing files and all that some of them also tackle network unlocking you know high-end security because network unlocking has never been easier when it comes to mobile phone devices right so it is very crucial to know different types of chipset to help you know the kind of tools or the kind of method you are going to use to tackle them because if you don't know the type of chipset how do you know the type of tool to use to tackle that particular security it is very hard so guys this is the fourth episode of our lessons and i hope this video helps you know different types of chipset and the reason why you should know the different types of chipset so if today is your first time watching my videos kindly give me a follow also if you are watching me on youtube kindly subscribe press notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i post a video my name is ibron enjoy the rest of my videos peace